Consider this an invitation to my gangster name. Nah, 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 nah. Guys, Chase here with Fit Pro. Today we're gonna be going over the front squat. So before we get into it, know that the front squat is a it's a great squat, it's a great full body movement. It works obviously the legs, but it'll also work the core, upper body, but it is an advanced movement. So make sure you have your basic body weight squat form down first. Know how to do the back squat as well. Maybe even overhead squat before this. Light overhead squat, PVC pipes. But the issue with this is it requires a lot of mobility. Right? Mobility in the hips, mobility in the shoulders, the wrist, the upper body, even into the lats or the serratus. So there's a lot of issues that need to be looked at beforehand before you can get to the front squat. So you're perfectly mobile, you're perfectly awesome. Time to front squat. So let's get into it. First, we want to take a grip on the bar just outside shoulder width. Okay, what we want to do is we want to grab the bar and want to squeeze it and think about bending it, okay? Bending it into a U shape, all right? Again, this addresses that external rotation that we've been talking about. So, external rotation through the arms. What we want to do then is we're going to come underneath the bar, okay? I'm going to drive our elbows forward. I'm going to try to get this bar pretty much as close to, like, laying on top of our collarbone against the neck as we can. It's going to be very uncomfortable, but that doesn't matter, okay? So, it's kind of feel like it's choking you, but you know, 10, 20 seconds of squats, you'll be fine. So if it's, if it's uncomfortable, you're doing it right. All right, so again, external rotation. Let's come underneath the bar. We're gonna drive the elbows forward. And we're gonna get locked in here. With the elbows forward, what we're doing is creating a shelf with our shoulders that the bar can actually rest on. That way we don't have to actually hold the bar. So elbows are gonna stay forward. Imagine if your elbows were guns shooting bullets, they would be pointed forward and not down at your feet, right? We don't want to shoot the feet off. You're going to have, have a hard time squatting with no feet. So elbows forward. And you're actually going to roll the bar into the fingertips. You won't actually have a full grip on the bar, okay? In order to get those elbows forward where you need them, open hand, roll the bar into the back of the fingertips here, okay? Right here, let's come underneath. Elbows forward. Gather, let's step out. So, elbows pointed forward. What we want to do is make sure the elbows do not fly out or down. Okay? Again, we're here, not here, not here, not out. Okay? Elbows forward, fingertips. Alright? As far as lower body mechanics go, it's going to be pretty similar to the back squat. Okay? Creating external rotation with the, with the legs, driving the knees out, hamstrings back and down. Okay? So, as we sit back and down, the focus is to keep these elbows pointing forward. If you had letters on your t-shirt, those letters would stay pointing forward the whole time. But you'd be able to read Nike or Lululemon or whatever across the front of your shirt. All right, so here, drive the knees out, back and down. Hit your depth, obviously, with your full range of motion. Stand up, drive away. Okay, so notice this shelf I've created here also. You don't actually need to grip the bar at all. I can actually take my hands off the bar completely. As long as my elbows are forward, we're good. Okay, notice as soon as the elbows drop, the shelf goes away, lift this bit. Right? So, again, make sure you have body weight, body weight squat down first. You've mastered the back squat, back squatting three, four, five hundred pounds. Just kidding. And maybe even an overhead squat. Again, try to address any mobility issues you might have first. If you know you have tight hips or if you know you have tight shoulders, address that before you even get to this. Like, clear it out of the way because you're not going to be able to perform it properly or safely. So address the mobility issues. Um, check out the mobility videos that we have, right? Pick, pick them out, shoulders, hips, whatever it may be. It could even be the ankles, okay? Don't leave anything out of question and um, give it a shot.